the 19th of august 2022 top 5 morning headlines goa becomes first or har ghar jal or certified state in the country hl to open first overseas marketing office in malaysia mandla becomes country or as first fully or functionally literate or district paralympian rahul jakhar wins gold in 2022 wsps shooting world cup world humanitarian day the 19th of august goa becomes first har ghar jal certified state in the country or goa or an or dadra or nagar haveli and daman or diu or have become respectively the first or har ghar jal or certified state and ut in the country in this state and ut people from all the villages now have access to safe drinking water through tap connection or jal jeevan mission or Launched in August 2019, aims to provide portable tap water supply to every rural household of the country by 2024. HL to open first overseas marketing office in Malaysia. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL on the 18th of August 2022 signed and mau for opening its first international marketing or sales office in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This office in Malaysia will help HAL in tapping the new business opportunities for fighter led in trainer Clit ACA. It will also help HAL expand its services in Southeast Asia. HAL headquarters Bangalore Chairman R Madhavan Mandla becomes country's first fully functionally literate district Madhya Pradesh or as tribal dominated or mandla or region has become the first fully or quote functionally literate or quote district in the country the district administration in 2020 launched the or health co nirakshata se azadi abhiyan or rdqo to make the residents functionally literate a person can be called functionally literate when he or she is able to write his or her own name to count and read and write in hindi Paralympian Rahul Jakhar wins gold in 2022 WSPS Shooting World Cup. Paralympian Rahul Jakhar on the 18th of August 2022 won the gold medal in the 2022 WSPS Shooting World Cup in Changwon, South Korea. He won the gold medal in the 25 meter competition. Besides Rahul, Avani Lekhara or Pooja Agrawal won the silver and bronze medals respectively. While Avani won the silver in the 10 meter category, Pooja won the bronze in the 25 meter category. World Humanitarian Day, the 19th of August. Every year, World Humanitarian Day is observed on August 19th to pay tribute to those who sacrificed their lives to serve humanity against all odds. It was commemorated for the first time in 2009. It is observed in the memory of the UN Special Representative for Iraq, Sergio Vieira de Mello, who was killed in a bomb attack in Baghdad in 2003. 2022 theme: It takes a village. Road to build steel slag road in Arunachal Pradesh. Border Roads Organization (BRO) will build steel slag road in Arunachal Pradesh on a pilot project basis. The steel slag road will be a first of its kind project or will be able to withstand heavy rains or adverse climatic conditions. Aim to resolve the connectivity issues faced by remote parts of Arunachal Pradesh or strategic locations in the northeastern sector. Bro HQ, New Delhi. FSIB recommends Muhammad Mustafa for NABARDS chairman post. The Financial Services Institutions Bureau (FSIB) on the 17th of August 2022 recommended Muhammad Mustafa for the post of NABAR chairman. Mustafa, a 1995 batch IAS officer, served as the chairman and managing director of the Small Industries Development Bank of India (SIDB). The appointments committee of the cabinet headed by PM Modi will take the final decision on the recommendation of FSIB. Fisheries Minister Parshottam Rupala launches Aqua Bazaar app. Union Minister of Fisheries or Animal Husbandry Parshottam Rupala on the 18th of August 2022 launched an online marketplace application or Aqua Bazaar or This app will help the fish farmers and stakeholders to source the inputs such as fish seed, 
feed, medicines at sea and services required for fish culture. It has been developed by the Bhubaneswar-based ICR Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture. Nitin Gadkari unveils India's first electric double-decker bus in Mumbai. Highways and Road Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari on the 18th of August 2022 unveiled India or as first electric double-decker bus in Mumbai. Switch Mobility Ltd, a subsidiary of Ashok Leyland, has manufactured this unique electric double-decker bus called or Switch E22. Or India-Philippines Strategic Dialogue held in Manila. The fourth India-Philippines Strategic Dialogue was held in Manila on the 18th of August 2022. In this both the countries discussed defense and security cooperation or also exchanged views on Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, related matters. In February 2022, External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar had visited the Philippines with the aim to strengthen bilateral ties. HDFC Bank introduced Vigilante to promote secure banking practices. HDFC Bank has announced the launch of a new campaign titled Vigilante. It aims to encourage people across the country to practice safe banking habits. Anuradha Menon will be the protagonist of this campaign. Through a series of videos, reels, chat shows, Menon, as Vigilante, will be creating awareness on safe banking do's and don or us. HDFC Bank MD or CEO, Sashidhar Jagdishan. RBI cancels license of Deccan Urban Cooperative Bank. RBI has cancelled the license of Deccan Urban Cooperative Bank, Karnataka as the bank does not have adequate capital or earning prospects. In its present financial position, the bank would be unable to pay its depositors in full. The Commissioner for Cooperation and Registrar of Cooperative Societies, Karnataka is to issue an order for winding up an appointing a liquidator for the